Okay, I know this is a little close. I don't even know. It doesn't even look like it's uh, focusing. I don't know why it's not focusing. Nope, oh, there it goes. Okay, so um, I'm making a subtle field coil. I'm just using this twine that you would use to tie up a chicken or something like that. I think it's cotton. Doesn't matter. It's, it's what I'm using. So I made a uh, cut out a couple uh, round pieces of wood there with the hole saw drilled out half inch. I'm trying to hold this tight. <laughs> uh, I've made I used a threaded rod and it worked out pretty good really because this twine goes right in the threads and it went right down there pretty good and then this other twine just kind of went in between the other twine so it seems to be working pretty good I'm just going to finish off this layer here and I got two layers going on here I don't know how well it's focusing not the best but uh, I'm going to have two layers on here, and then I'm going to put some masking tape from here all the way across. And then I'm going to start winding the coils. And of course that will be copper, and uh, I'll let it go. It probably won't be too bad. I have, luckily, oh crap. Luckily, I found. Boys, why won't this thing? There it goes. Luckily, I found some um, cotton covered wire. I was lucky to find some fairly cheap. And this is old stuff. You. Uh, this doesn't have the. Uh, it doesn't have the uh, plastic inside of it. It's. I don't know if I can get to it or not. Yeah, there it is. Here's the copper. There's no, there's no plastic in there at all. It's just, uh, just the old school way of wrapping the uh, copper conductor. So I got some of that. And I'm just going to use some of this tie wire that you would tie uh, rebar. Anyway, I got some of that. I That's just cheap rebar tie wire, so I don't imagine there's anything special about that. That's just iron. So anyhow, that this is my next project here. I'm going to finish wrapping this up here and do a few experiments with it everybody have a nice day cheers